Hello and welcome back to the channel. Once again, you find me outside in my garden because it is simply too warm to film in my studio. So uh, yeah, here is another From Tom's Garden beer review. And today we're doing a revisiting, which I think this may be the first time, but maybe not. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to be revisiting, as the title of this video suggests, Hawkston Lager, Jeremy Clarkson's Hawkston Lager. Now, uh, this bottle is from the same batch as the first one I had. I got two and not had the second one yet. Um, the first one I drank pretty much immediately after the beer came out and as a result probably wasn't really the time of year for it but it's red hot now and so it absolutely is. However, little disclaimer, I have seen on the side that it says best before the 19th of the 5th and we're in early August so it's uh, about two months and two weeks past its best before which is unfortunate. However, Lager sometimes just can get a little better with age and sometimes it's terrible, so let's find out. Is an old Hawkston lager any better than a fresh one, I guess? Let's do it. Before we break into it though, I will say that the reason I'm doing this is because I've noticed a lot of interesting comments on my original Hawkston lager video. A lot of them were, your sound quality is all for what you're doing. Um, that thankfully has now been resolved. I was using a terrible microphone, despite the uh, attempts at sound editing. But more importantly than that, there were a lot of comments from people who I reckon, I suspect didn't really watch the video and just wanted to shit on Jeremy Clarkson. Not in a weird way. Well, it's still weird, but you know what I mean. Not in that way. Uh, just in a, we're going to denounce anything that he's got anything to do with. Um, which I think is, I mean, it's fine if you don't like him, fair enough. But everyone was basically saying it's cheap, mass-produced, just selling off his name. Well, firstly, his name's not on it. Secondly, it's actually made by Cotswold Beer Company. It's it's legitimate brewery stuff. It's not a mass-produced market filler. So, yeah, let's find out. Is this one still any good? Still very lively, now taking the cap off. Very lively indeed, look at that. In the glass then, a solid 18 finger white head on it, thanks to my terrible pouring skills. Um, this glass apparently, despite me washing it very thoroughly, wasn't washed perfectly, um, but beyond that, it's a nice golden color, loads of carbonation, and yeah, nice, fairly tight foam white head on it. It looks like a good lager, if you just take it at face value. Looks pretty appealing right now, I have to say. Right, aromas. A little bit tinny, which is often a thing with lagers, particularly British made lagers and cheaper made lagers, but as I already said, I don't think this is made cheaply, but it is a thing. Other than that, it's got a bit of a resounding sweetness from the malt, but it's a bit... It's a little bit dulled down, tiny floral hint to it. And actually, the longer I sit with this at my nose, the more it is starting to turn into German lager territory. There's a bit more sweet breadiness coming through. Now the head on that's starting to settle down. So first impression is not great, but actually, yeah, after a minute or so, seems pretty appealing. Right, let's give it a go. Cheers. Okay. Other than the wasp that's hovering around in front of the camera right now, um, this is actually pretty appealing. I have to say, my initial impression on the taste of this now is much better than it was the first time I tried it. So. got a lot more breadth, more breadiness. I think, I mean, it's been a while since I tried it, but I don't remember thinking it was as good a quality maybe as it is. It's um, it's not perfect. A little bit of that tinny, irony flavor just come through, but I've had much more expensive lagers that have been a fair bit worse. So I know it's very easy when a product is backed by someone you either like, and I, full disclosure, I. I'm a car person, I don't hate Clarkson, I find him fairly amusing, he's not alright about everything, you know, 
I'm relatively open-minded on the subject, but if you really don't like him, then you're instantly going to not like it, not because of the actual qualities of the beer, just because you don't like him. So, you know, trying to keep an open mind with this, but let's reframe this slightly differently. Whether it in fact is better or not than it was the first time I tried it, what I can say is that it's definitely better than most lagers I've tried two plus months after their best before. Most of them become very just uninteresting. They start to deteriorate, take on the flavour normally of the can. This is a bottled beer, unfortunately it means it's in a 330ml. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, really not an entirely unpleasant experience. Right, quick top to bottom taste test, so you know exactly what I'm banging on about. So, initially, slightly sweet, slightly floral on the front of the tongue. The middle phase is really entirely bitter, that just traditional cutting, refreshing lager bitterness, slightly drying. And with most lagers, all the flavour really cuts in towards the end. Nice bit of malt. Still a hint of that floral nature. And you're left with a slightly subtle, doughy, bready malt flavour that's I've had a few worse lagers this week, let me put it that way. It really is not bad at all. And given that I've already reviewed this beer properly, I'm not going to go into all the spiel that's on the bottle. If you want to know all of that, go and watch the original one, which, if I should remember, I'll put a link to up there very soon. But, yeah, that really is all I've got to say about it. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already subscribed, if you would be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.